This is an example about file I.O., file input and output, and I'm opening this file message.txt for reading, and just to make it easy, I put another window that shows the contents of that file. I've got the word cat, bat, mat, and rat. And with file I.O., the normal way is when you open it for reading, you're going to start reading from the top of the file. So when I read a array of characters worth of data with fscanf and I print out that word to the screen, I'm starting at the beginning. I'm reading the word cat and that's, um, that's the way FileIO works unless you use random access or you change where you're reading from, what position you're in for the file. So there's three functions I want to talk about. The first one is ftel, which is going to return the location where you're currently located in the file. So this doesn't really move you around, it'll just show you where you are. Um, so we should tell, be able to tell that once we've read in the word cat, we are now located below the word cat and below the new line character that we can't really see because it's invisible and we're right in front of the word bat ready to read it in. So I'm going to change my program to use ftel. I'll pass in the file pointer and it returns a position, an integer that tells me where I am in the file. So I've added one line to my program where I'm just going to print the position in the file is and ftel, I did say it returns an integer, it actually returns a long integer. So when I want to print out a long integer, I'll use a percent %ld. So if I run this with my changes, it's going to say my position in the file is 3. So I've just read past the C and the A and the T and I'm going to read something else in now. So if I were to edit the program and try to read something else in, I'm now in p at position 3, so if I try to read another array of characters, it's going to read in bat. But what if I advance to a different point in the file before I do my read? I don't want cat. I want to move down in advance and try to get a different word from that file. The fc command allows the programmer to set the position in the file wherever they want to, to a random location. So it's going to take as input arguments the file ID, the offset of how far into that file do you want to move, and the origin is either the beginning of the file, the end of the file, or the current position. And they use these constants set, set, seek set to mean I want to start from the beginning of the file and have an offset of a certain number of bytes. Or seek current is the current position, seek end is the end of the position. So let's try it with an example. I've got my program and before I read in that one word, I'm going to seek from the beginning of the file eight bytes down. And if we think of what the file has in it, and each line has four bytes, you can't see the new line character, but there's three characters, one byte for each character, and the new line character, so that's four bytes, and then eight bytes would take me past the word bat, and now I'm sitting right in front of the word mat, and when I read my next word in, that's going to be mat, and I can figure that out by compiling this and running it, and we'll see that, yep, the word I read in was mat, and the position in the file I'm at is 11. I read past cat and new line bat, new line and mat, and I'm right about here, right in front of the new line character um, after the word mat. And my last command I want to talk about with random access to files is called rewind. And it does just what the name implies. It takes you back to the top of the file. So in my example, the last thing I showed was seeking to position 8 before I read in the word mat, which would leave me after the word mat ready to read in rat if I read in another word. But before I read in my next word, I'm going to rewind and go back to the top of the file, meaning that when I read in the next word, it's going to be cat. So I will compile my program and run it, 
and we've read in Matt and then gone back to the top of the file and read in Cat. So I know that was kind of fast, but hopefully you can pause the video or uh, rewatch sections and see that the three interesting commands were fseek to move to a different position in the file, ftel to let you know what position, what byte you're on, and rewind. Have a good day and happy programming.